All right. Hi. No, I'm just kidding. This is Fernando from Embryo Creations, and right now I'm at the abandoned gym where I'm gonna be shooting Rashi for a hip hop artist named Arco. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about when to know when to go full time. But that's not an easy question to answer. Every person's story is different. See, all through Luke YouTube, I bet you you've been searching that right now, looking at this exact question and wondering which way seeing so many different answers, and all of a sudden you see, hey, what's Embryo? Look, let me see this guy. I'm sorry, I'm being ridiculous. But yeah, the only best way to answer that question is to tell you my story. For me, I used to work at a Dunkin', I used to work at a coffee place or a coffee shop, coffee fast food restaurant, coffee, too much coffee. I used to work at a coffee joint. I used to work at Dunkin', okay? I used to work at Dunkin', and it was very stressful, and I just couldn't handle it anymore. I was a year out of college. The funny thing is, I actually went to school for graphics at IUP but that wasn't my thing. But I, do I regret going to college? No, but for me, college, you don't really need to go to college to be in a creative field, but that's another story for another time. I'll do another video about is college really worth it for creative fields such as photography and cinematography. Anyways, so I went to life film school for a year and I got my music video production certificate. I had one video in my portfolio, a music video, and I was doing, before before Life in the Swell, I was actually doing a little bit of college photography, which I only had so much. And on this Facebook page for how long called Twisted Fate, I thought, oh, what the hell, maybe there's an internship. So I sent them a message, and they're like, hi, actually, we don't offer internship, but we do all know someone who is more in your field than what you're looking for. So they told me to send them, they told me to send them my portfolio. All I had was one music video that I did with 3 Infinity, which you'll see a link below of the music video I did called Keep Sin. I did that music video and then I had a couple of concert photographies in my portfolio. That's all I had. But I was like, you know, you never know until you try. So I sent that off and all of a sudden, the next couple of days, I was going to my friend's house named Santos, who has a YouTube channel called Downcast Spark, which the link will be in the description too. And his YouTube channel is hilarious. He's hilarious. Anyways, I was going to this place and all of a sudden I hear ding on my phone. And I was like, who's this? So, I, I it was a notification of someone that referred me to me and I was like, oh, well, I don't want to be a new friend. Cool. That's why I make friends, right? I don't know. So I, I said hello, I didn't want to be rude, and like she sent me a message, I was like, who is this? But I, I was looking at her profile picture, her profile, I was looking at her profile, and I saw she does concert photography, and she was doing all this music stuff when it comes and learning, seeing all these different bands and whatnot, and I was like, yes! And so I was like, so, you, have, you do concert photography, right? So, I'm sorry, I'm a tool. So, I was sending her a couple of messages, we going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and she's like, hey, so we're actually shooting a documentary called Say By The Scene. And I was like, what? And they're like, would you like to join? I'm like, uh, yeah. I mean, that's been in my what did it get into for how long? I'm sorry, I'm getting too excited right now. This, this stuff makes me super excited. But like, um, I got into that, and then ever since, I've been getting nonstop clients. As of August 1st, 2019 of this year, that was my first day of going full time. Like exactly the exact day I started going full time, I quit my day job. Now the reason why I quit my day job, thanks to first interview, I'm getting clients nonstop. But because of that, I was conflicting with my day job, and then I had to work on my clients, and then every time I get a client, I had to work on my own day job. It was too much, too much pressure. I was like, you know what? Duncan doesn't make me happy anymore. It's stressful. Film and photography makes me happy. So I let go of Duncan and I went full time. I've done two music videos. I've done one for the high level. I've done one for Three of Infinity. And then tomorrow I'm working, I'm doing one for Arkham. And then I just, this week, I just booked a music video for The Anxious Hearts for next month. And I've been doing recap videos. I worked with Working Breed, Identity X. I just got done with Throw Festival. And I work with Fubar. Buku, and I've been getting all these people nonstop. People are recognizing me without me even telling them, and it's it's totally weird to me. And I'm I'm not against it. It's just that the person I I was I'm a huge introvert too, and so like <laughs> the person that wasn't popular in high school growing up, 
now is popular. It's like such a new experience. Like even uh, yesterday, I shot for Splatter Me Crazy. I shot that event, and boy, was that phenomenal. It was thrown by Dominique Moray, and she's such a very, very powerful young woman. At age of 22, she put all this together which I'm actually editing for that video too, which Dominique, if you're watching this, you're gonna love what I have for you. But yeah, shout out to Dominique. If you want some awesome portrait photography, follow her on Facebook and follow her page and get her services. She is amazing with her portraits. And it's, it's amazing and I'm so thankful for First Angel Media if you're watching this and Jonna. If you haven't found me, I wouldn't have gotten all these things that I have right now. And that's the thing though too, she's my mentor. And it's also when you're, before you go full time too, before you go full time, find a mentor. Because a lot of things that you learn in college isn't what you're gonna learn in the real, in, in the real world, you know. But that's, again, that's, that's another video for another time. But through Jana, learning so much through her, learning so much, and then the rest I've been doing on my own. And sure, when you're going going full time, it's risky. Like I'm still learning on the way. I'm right. I'm still learning about contracts, and I'm am getting the hang of booking people too. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm the the top music. I I am good. I will say I've gotten a lot better, as you can see. You know, right now I I did a video before about shooting between a Panasonic G85 and a Sony A6400, and now I'm shooting with a Sony A6400, and look at the quality. It's ridiculous. It's freaking amazing. Okay, I'm sorry. It's, it's amazing. But yeah, I've, I've also shot short films. I shot Pickup, Shattered, Home, Nature, and then I'm doing another one called Hollow, which is gonna be another universe that's linked to Pickup for those that watch Pickup. I don't wanna reveal, but link will be in the description below too about Pickup. But yeah, I'm thankful for everyone that supported me and I'm still, I'm still building too. 2018 was the search, 2019 was the discovery, and 2020 was the real deal. I just can't wait because it's, it's unreal how much everything has happened. You know, I didn't expect all this to happen so fast, like literally happened so fast. But I'm thankful for it. Do I, re do I, regret, I regret anything? No. Do I regret college? No. I just don't have any other words to say, you know, it's just... I'm so thankful. And thank you for so much for everyone that's watching this too. And I appreciate everyone that's sending me messages and supporting me, you know. I just, I'm still getting used to all this too. It's overwhelming. But it makes me happy, you know. It's been a long time since I felt that. I'm gonna be real about that too. But yeah, that's my story on how I went full time and what's going on right now. And I can't wait for tomorrow. I still have to clean up this place to get it set for Arkham tomorrow, which I can't wait to see you tomorrow if you're watching, watching this Arkham. We came a long way. <laughs> but yeah, that guy, he's such a phenomenal hip hop artist. Make sure to watch his music and listen to watch. Watch his music when it comes out and listen to his music. He's on Spotify and iTunes. I'm thankful for everyone, again, thankful, thankful for everyone that's helping me, supporting me, and thankful for everyone that's watching this too. And let me know what you, th what you thought, what are your thoughts about this video too. Now this channel, as you can see above in the banner, it says video, photo, and my growth. Mainly this YouTube channel is about my growth. So you're gonna see a lot of recaps of what I'm doing, my music videos, and all that other jazz, like a portfolio basically. But it's mainly about the growth. Sure, I can show you tutorials and reviews and my thoughts, but what about how to deal with depression when you're not getting clients, or how to deal with the pressure, how to be more organized, how to know how to handle how to handle the pressure and not give up, how to keep going on, how to be able to come up with ideas when you got nothing, how to handle things on the spot. Would you rather hear that or would you rather would you rather hear the aesthetic part of this industry of cinematography and photography? Or would you rather hear the technical part like the reviews and tutorials and whatnot? Let me know in the in the comments below. Next video I plan on making it about is it truly worth it to go to college? Again, am I against college? No. But in the creative field, it's a whole new world now. Everything is on YouTube and Google. Literally everything is in the palm of our hands now. We can just search it online and we can learn on the spot. 
But again, thank you so much for all that's watching. Thank you for the media. Thank you, Dominique, for giving me the opportunity. Thank you all musicians that's helped me push, helped me this far. And thank you for everyone for that's been giving me support and compliments. I'm so thankful for you all. And thank you so much for everyone that's watching this YouTube video. Let's do it again. Subscribe, wherever that bell is. I'm still learning YouTube too. Make sure to hit that bell to be notified when the next YouTube video comes. And leave a comment below. What did you think about this video? And what other videos would you like in the future? This is Fernando signing off, and I have to get back to work and get ready for Arkham tomorrow. See you next time.